Okay, it's Bob Frizzell for the reality game, and today's uh, story in the reality game is never ever being able to have any sense of me. Do you feel like that? It's like your sense of me is being swamped by other people's enormous me. Well, if you feel like that, you're not alone. These people with enormous egos that just wash over everyone else um, seem to be very prevalent these days. And we always want to say, if you can't get rid of a huge egoic presence, you're not alone. Okay, Rumpelstiltskin, the fifth dimensional elf, wants to remind you all that from his perspective, the human scene is horrible. And he says the reason it's horrible, in his best opinion, and he's 2,500 years old, he says, uh, most of the time when I've been around humans, I find them horrible, horrible, horrible creatures. They are despicable to one another and despicable to other beings. And he says the reason why they're horrible is because they have no ability to make anything. Humans are not able to get a good idea and make it happen. Humans pretty much are stripped of good ideas. So then what happens? Well, then they have to stoop to stealing because there's really no good social safety net for humans. So they steal. And uh, Rumpelstiltskin goes on to say, if humans had magical abilities like the elves and the fairies do, they could simply use magic to make the things that they need. But for some reason, humans aren't magic. So they have to make things with their hands and with machines. And the ideas that they get are pretty much copycat ideas. And a lot of times, the resources that humans use to make things are real beings. So, you know, the enormous amounts of trees that are cut down to make toilet paper or chopsticks... Rumpelstiltskin says, we understand that humans have got to eat, but we don't understand why humans feel like they have to eat animals. Why can't humans simply eat peanut butter and jam sandwiches? The answer seems to be, it's um, brought down from generation after generation hunting families and then the young children are told this is how uh, we do it in our family we go out every fall and we kill a moose and the other families that don't do hunting uh, are brainwashed you know it's like uh, we go to the supermarket and there's the chicken and there's the beef and there's the pork those are your choices, and you better buy some because the government says it's a part of the food groups. And, you know, Rumpelstiltskin says, people really have lost the ability to see. They have no empathy for the animals. They hear about horrible factory farms where the animals are jammed into pens, and the, um, the chickens have their beaks burnt off them so they don't peck at one another in their tiny little cages. Rumpelstiltskin says um, these horrors, sometimes the information comes out to people and then what happens? Pretty much people uh, are overwhelmed by the horror of it all. But the next day when they go to the grocery store and they look, you know, there's no sign of these pictures of horror in the factory farm. All you see is nice little pre-made packages with the meat in it. And unfortunately to humans the meat tastes good. Rumpelstiltskin wants to tell you all that from the dimensions that he's in, he always looks at humans as being disgusting, 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 disgusting. Horrible, not horrible, they're disgusting. 
He says humans are so disgusting. If the elves had their way, they would remove humans from existence. They are... Um, on the other side of the street, he sees what happens to humans and how they get um, indoctrinated in the system when they're born um, by their parents and their societies. And he sees the humans have no chance to escape. And then he says, um, he just, he throws up his hands and he says, I don't know how to help humans. I don't know how to help the planet. He says, I don't know how humans lost their magical abilities. I don't know the history of how humans fell to be so disgusting. He says, I'm not old enough. He says, 2,500 years is not old enough. It doesn't go back far enough in time to figure out what was the enormous disaster that happened to humans to make them humans. He wants to tell you that from his perspective there are definitely horrible things that happen that make humans even more horrible. He says there's horrible, horrible things. And he says, you know, I get blamed. He said, Rumpelstiltskin says people blame Rumpelstiltskin because, you know, he himself, when he gets involved, um, he gets contaminated by whatever is contaminating humans. So he says, I don't want to be around humans. The problem is, um, I can't figure it out. After 2,500 years, he says, the best thing that I can do is get the hell away from humans. And he says they are a parasite that um, afflicts planet Earth and afflicts other places. And he says, um, the best thing that could be done is just mass delete. Just mass delete and delete all of the humans. Delete everything to do with humans. And whatever that happens to those souls, um, it's better than continuing the human experience. That's Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, and he has nothing else to say.